Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Fowley, and welcome to Podcast 15.4. We're going to look at um, competing precipitation reactions and find the concentration after precipitation, which sounds like not a lot, but it actually is. So let's get our butts off the dock of the bay and get a go one. So, AP Chemistry likes to ask which will precipitate first. So what we do are, is we find the concentration needed of the common ion to precipitate each one. Whichever needs less will precipitate first. And concentration of the ions is done by substitution. Huh? Huh? Really? Huh? That means I don't think you understood this very well. But we'll do a bunch of examples, and hopefully it will work with you. So here's 2001. Here's the following questions relating to the solubility of the chlorides of silver and lead. So I'm looking at AgCl and PbCl2. The first thing I'm noticing is I've got a difference in subscripts. At 10 degrees Celsius, 8.9 times 10 to the fifth grams of silver chloride will dissolve in 100 milliliters of water. Write the equation for the dissociation of silver chloride and water. AgCl is in equilibrium with Ag positive plus Cl negative. And you can put solids and aqueous things if you want to. Two, can I get the solubility in moles per liter of silver chloride in water? Now, this seems like solubility, that's the minus x, but if you notice, they gave that to us. So all I have to do is convert 8.9 E negative 5 grams times dividing bar into grams of HECL and one mole of HECL. And notice that is per 100 milliliters, but I want it in molarity. So we'll first get it in moles. So 8.9 E negative 5, whoops, I need to find that molar mass, don't I? Silver is 107.9 plus 35.45 is 143.35. So then I take 8.9 E negative 5 divided by the second answer, and I get 6.21 E negative 7 moles. And then that's in 100 milliliters, so if I want it per liter, that means I need to multiply it times 10. This many moles per 100 milliliters times 1,000 milliliters in 1 liter, or just multiply it times 10, times 10 is 6.21 E negative 6. So that's I. Double I is 6.21 E negative 6 molar. Three, calculate the value of the solubility product constant KSP for it. So what I'm going to do now is reuse this guy. So I have an answer here of double I was 6.21 E negative 6 molar. And I'm going to start with sum. 0, 0. And since I found out that this is my molar solubility, this equals minus x. So minus 6.21 E negative 4, oh, negative 6, pardon me, plus 6.2 E negative 4, 6, what am I calling it for? 6.21 E negative 6 plus 6.21 E negative 6. And in equilibrium, I don't care, 6.21 E negative 6. 6.21 E negative 6. So KSP is 6.21 E negative 6 squared. So the answer I still have on there, 3.85 E negative 11. And there's part 3. At 25 degrees Celsius, the value of KSP is blah, and the value of KSP for solar nitrate is blah. If 60 milliliters of 0.4 molars added to 60 milliliters of 0.03 molar, will it precipitate form? So, oh no, notice what we're doing again. We are diluting them. So we're adding to volumes, so we're going to dilute them. So assume the volumes are additive, show calculations for your answer. The first thing I'm going to do is say molarity is half because volume doubled. So that means NaCl equals 0.02 molar. Again, 60 plus 60 is why the volume doubled. And then PbNO3 um, is 0.015 molar. So we'll precipitate forms. The precipitate we're looking for here is not sodium, not nitrate, so it's PbCl. So KSP equals lead plus 2 times chloride squared. And if you don't know that, write out the dissolving equation, and you'll see where that comes from. KSP of PBCL2 is 1.6 E negative 5 
and my lead concentration is 0.015, and let me make sure my point shows up, and chloride is 0.02 squared. So now notice I called this K, but really I noticed, well, what I did here, this isn't a bad mistake. So notice I don't have anything to solve for. Oh, wait a minute, these are not at equilibrium. Uh, this should be Q. So, oopsie, Q and Q. So 0 0.015 times 0 0.02 squared is 6E negative 6. And that's Q. And I need to compare 6E negative 6 to K, which is 1.6E negative 5. Oops, so where I put 6. Notice this is K, this is Q. Q is less than K. Will it precipitate form? No. Calculate the equilibrium value of PB plus 2 and 1 liter of saturated lead chloride solution, which 0.25 moles of NaCl has been added. Assume that no volume change occurs. Okay, so I'm in a saturated solution of lead um, chloride. So I'm going to write out the reaction again. PBCl2 is in equilibrium with PB plus 2 plus 2Cl negative. And it tells me in a 1 liter saturated solution, which is 0.25 moles of Cl. So that means I have 0.250 molar because I'm in 1 liter in that many moles. So I'm going to find out this. Okay? And I'm in this situation. I don't have to do, I'm not doing an ice diagram. I'm just doing KSP. So 1.6E negative 5. It's at equilibrium, which is why this is in a Q, equals X times 0.250 squared. And again, this is not doubled because of that too. It, it does affect the squared part, but I don't double it because it doesn't come from a separate spot there. So let's solve for that. 1.6 second E negative 5 divided by 0.25 squared, and I have 2.56 E negative 4 molar, and that is PB plus 2. 3. If 0.1 molar of NaCl is slowly added to beaker containing 0.12 molar of silver nitrate and 0.15 molar of lead nitrate at 25, which will precipitate first? So okay, I guess this is your answer. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to erase this because I need it again. Whee! I love that I have my eraser back. It makes me so happy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is calculate the concentration of chloride needed for each of them. Okay, so erase, 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 erase. Sorry, you have to watch this. Ba, 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 ba. I probably should have paused it, erased it, and saved you some erase watching time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the CL, what's the concentration of CL needed for each. So I've got AG, so I'm going to do an AGCL. It's in equilibrium with AG positive plus CL negative. I've got PBCL2, it's in equilibrium with PB plus 2, plus CL negative, 2 CL negatives. So then um, I've got 0 0.120 molar AgNO3. Okay. So 0 0.120. And I want to find out which one will precipitate first. And over here for lead, I have 0 0.150. Okay. So what I'm going to do is solve for the chloride needed for precipitation. So the KSP of AGCL, KSP equals AG positive times CL negative, which means I have 1.8 E negative 10 equals AG positive 0 0.120 times CL negative, and that's to the first power. CL negative needed for precipitation. Now notice it's when precipitation begins. And we said precipitation begins basically when Q equals KSP. So 1.8 E negative 10 divided by 0.12 is 1.5 E negative 9. Okay, I'm going to write that down somewhere. Okay, PPT begins, starts when Q equals KSP. Really, when it's just a smidgen bigger, but it's such a small smidgen, we should say equal. 1.5 times 10 negative 9 is chloride. Same deal over here. KSP is slightly different. Lead plus 2 and chloride squared, and a different KSP, 1.60 negative 5, equals 0.15 times x squared. 
x equals 1.6 e negative 5 divided by 0 0.15 and then second root second answer we get 0 0.0103 molar of PB plus 2 okay so which one will precipitate first the one that will precipitate first is the one that needs less so that's this one AGCL precipitates first because it needs less CL negative. Yeehaw. Finding concentration of the ion after precipitation. Precipitation reactions go to completion in moles. Then equilibrium is established in molarity. Yay, so we get another kickback one. All right. The following question refers to 3.5 times 10 negative uh, 10 squared molar of 3.2 molar of that and 200 milliliters of 0.02 that are added together. Oh look, I'm combining them. So that means I'm diluting them. So sadly, they're not the same volume, so I have to figure out the new concentrations. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is um, change these bad boys into moles. So moles of, by the way, nitrate does nothing. Ha, ha, ha. And sodium does nothing. <laughs> so PB plus 2 moles equals MV 3.2 times uh, 0.35. 3.2 times 0.35 is 1.12 moles. Uh, CL negative equals 0.02 against MV times 0.2. M V equals 0.004. Okay. Now I'm going to write my reaction. Okay. PBCl2 is in equilibrium with Pb plus 2 plus 2Cl minus. And since it said I need to do my first reaction in moles, I'll do it in moles. So chloride is 0 0.004. And again, I don't double it with this because my source is outside of it. And this is 1.12. This is 0. So I'm making a precipitate. I'm going to have minus all, so whatever my limiting reactant is. So this will be minus 0 0.004. This is going to be minus 0 0.002. This is going to be plus 0 0.002. So I'll get rid of this. 0, 1.10, and then 0 0.002. But we really don't care about this because it's a solid. Okay. So what is limiting reactant um, is a formation of lead chloride. Um, so my limiting reactant is Cl negative, which formation of lead chloride, that's actually a better answer for that one. So the equilibrium concentration of chloride ion. Now it's not zero. So what I have to do now is kick it back in molarity. Okay? So my volume here is now 350 plus 200, which will be over 0.550. And then this again is going to be sum. So I'm going to rewrite this. PbCl2 is in equilibrium with Pb plus 2 plus 2Cl negatives. I'm going to have sum. I'm going to change that 1.10. 1.1 divided by 0 0.550, which is 2. I should have got that one on my own. That's 2 molar, and this is 0. Minus x plus x plus 2x. Don't care. 2 plus x and 2x. So the KSP for lead nitrate is 1.6 E negative 5 equals um, 2 plus x times uh, 2x quantity squared. Okay. Um, this isn't too bad to do, but I should suppose I should solve it. But eh, okay. So I'm going to have 4. So this is 2x squared. So it's going to be 4x squared plus. Oh no, it's not. 4 times 2 is 8x squared plus. Um, 4x cubed minus 1.6 e negative 5. Yeah, I'm just going to solve for that bad boy. So math 10, math 0. Let's check this bad boy out. So 0 equals, um, I'm going to go ahead and do it in the original one because I think it messed up. 2 plus x quantity times quantity 2x quantity squared. Um, minus 1.6, second E, negative 5, enter, my guess, point 0001, alpha, enter, I have point x equals 
0.00141, and that would be molar. And that would equal, oh, not there, that equals x. So 2x equals 0 0.00282. 2x is what we're looking for. Okay? So, that would be, let's see. Yay. 100 milliliter sample cause contains 10 millimoles of calcium ion. How many millimoles of solid sodium sulfate must be added in order to cause precipitation of 99.9% .9 of calcium sulfate? KSP of calcium sulfate is blah. Assume the volume remains constant. So, I'm not sure what to do, so I will ice diagram it. Yay. Okay, so originally I have 10 millimoles. Okay, so I have 10 millimoles and 100 milliliters, so that means I have 10 moles per 100 liters. So that would be 10 moles per 100, which would be 0.1 molar, right? Calcium ion, how many millimoles of solid sodium sulfate must be added to cause the precipitation? So if I start with this, in the end, I'm going to end up with precipitation of 99.9% .9 of this. So point, oops, I need to quit the other one. Point 0.1 times point oh oh one is what I'm going to have left. So initial change equilibrium. So I'm going to start with some. I'm going to add some something or other here of this x, right, plus x. And then what's going to happen is this is going to be minus, uh, I guess I'll call this minus y, minus y minus y, and at equilibrium I'm going to have one point, a tenth of a percent of this. So a tenth of a percent would be 1e e negative 4, which is 0 0.001 times 0 0.1 to get my 0.1 percent. Okay? And that's 1e e negative 4. Um, so that's not too hard to do. 0 0.1 minus x uh, equals so. 0.1 minus x equals 1e negative 4. So that would mean 1e negative 4. Answer, minus 0.1 equals 0.09999999999. So 0.0999. Okay? And this would also be minus 0.0999. And this would be x minus 0.0999, okay? So my KSP is 6.1e negative 5 equals 1e um, negative 4, well, yep, times x minus 0.0999, and solve for x. And there's your answer. AP likes to ask which will precipitate first. We find the concentration needed, the common ion for each one. Hey, we did that before. Whichever needs less will precipitate first. Concentration ion is done by substitution. This slide is a repeat, but should make more sense now, I hope. For review, precipitation goes to, to completion, then kicks back a little. So it goes to completion, and you can do that in moles. Everything is a little bit soluble, so there's also some ion concentration all of the time. So we need some, not literally the word some, but we need to have a little bit. There's no zeros. No zeros. And that's it. Toodles.